Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a very quiet, subdued episode of Dan Richard Fishing. Today, we're fishing alone. And we, I mean by you and I, my friends. Uh, yeah, it's a rare occasion where I am fishing by myself today. So it is officially Canadian Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. But by the time you see this video, it'll be more likely the US Thanksgiving. Um, and that's it. So we're out here looking for smallies, guys. And you know, in October, it is my favorite, favorite time to fish. And today we're going to do something special. So today I am going to go more into detail about fishing for smallmouth. And what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about fishing for smallies on river with current. And I'm going to show you guys each bait that I use and how I prefer to throw it and what I look for. Okay. So we're going to go through tubes, Ned rig, drop shot, uh, and shallower water baits, right? Because there are certain baits you just can't use in the deeper water because the current just sweeps your baits away before, you know, you can even put it in front of the fish. So we're going to talk about that in detail. So if you've been challenged with fishing for smallmouth in rivers with heavy current, this video is for you because I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. So let's, uh, Let's get a few casts out and uh, we'll start off with tubes. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, first bait of the day is the Salty Super Tube, uh, four, and a half, four and a quarter inch in Disco Candy, all right? So we got it rigged up on a bait caster. Let's give it a shot. So as I've explained in the past, the way it's working right now is I'm casting upriver, okay? So right now I'm at a point, so we've got current coming in this way and we've got current going this way. So the current is splitting like a Y going left and right. So all I'm doing is I'm spot locked and I'm gonna use the current to bring the bait towards me. So I'm gonna cast out, do a long cast upriver and I'm just gonna let the bait come back to me using the current. I'm just, my job is to pop it off the rocks, okay? So that's pretty much all there is to it. Nice long cast, let it sink to the bottom. And I'm just popping it off the bottom, keeping it off the rocks. And when I pop it, that's where the fish go crazy. So we'll see. This is our first cast of the day. And we're going to be feeling for a tick on the line. So you're going to feel a pop. When you feel that little tick on the line, that's a fish just gobbling it up. Now, first thing in the morning, tubes don't always kill it. And I'll switch to a drop shot. So... We're not going to assume too much if I don't get any bites on this. So again, nice long cast and I'm letting the current do all the work. Just let the current bring the bait back towards the boat and I'm going to throw it on the left and on the right, down center, just get that bait working everywhere. I'm going to cover this entire area. Now right now I'm throwing in about 15 feet of water and as it gets closer to the boat, it's at around six feet and it's just a nice rocky point where the fish like to hang out and it's funny because sometimes sometimes the tubes absolutely kill it in here and sometimes they don't do a dang thing so we'll work this whole area here and we're going to give it a shot and see what we can find there's one there we go first one of the day there we go, guys. First one falls victim to the tube. There we go, not a big one, but nice way to start. There you go, guys. Little guy. There we go. Got another one. Whoa, <laughs> that's so much fun. There we go, another one. Little guy. So, see, I'm not reeling in at the beginning, right? At the beginning, I don't reel in, I let it fall. So I wanna make contact with the rocks. So I just wanna bring in the slack, I'm not reeling it in. I'm letting the current bring it to me. All right, there we go, we're in the rocks. If you're not on bottom, if you're not bouncing it off the bottom, forget it, you're not doing anything. The key is bottom contact because they're just picking up crayfish and gobies and stuff off the bottom. And that's why these tubes work so well. And these fish will be scattered all along this point. So we're going to work the whole point really well. So you have to figure with current, it's not like a lake where when you cast out, your bottom gets to the bo bottom, your lure gets to the bottom and it does nothing. Right? On a, on a river with current, 
when it hits the bottom, it's still moving and rolling and tumbling and you get all kinds of great action. So that's why you, there's no need to reel it in or do any crazy maneuvering. You just got to bring in the slack, let the current and the rocks do all the work for you. Now a tube will move faster than say a drop shot. So a drop shot will still move through the current. It won't stay in one place because you'd need like a four ounce weight for it not to move, but it's definitely a lot slower. So if you, you know, if the water temps are particularly cold, it's the fall and you want to slow down the presentation, then you can switch to a drop shot. You know, sometimes the fish prefer something that's barely moving. Also guys, I mean, you know, I know we all have budgets, but it's hard to beat a motor with spot lock. You, you know, having a trolling motor with spot lock is just a game changer. So if you've got it in your budget, get one because, oh, there's a good one. That's a good one. That's a better one. Or at least he felt heavier. <laughs> so yeah, spot lock, game changer. There we go. Yeah, that's a better fish. A little bit better. There we go. That's a better fish. That's a better one. Let's put him in the live well. Guys, don't forget when you're throwing this out a bunch, be sure to check your line every few fish. Make sure that your fluorocarbon isn't uh, frayed. So I'm using 30 pound braid with a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Um, and it's uh, Seaguar Abrazex. I always find with tubes, the bite is not subtle. Like it's just so obvious with a tube. It's like they're trying to rip it out of your hands. Sometimes the drop shot bite is super subtle, but I've just, I've never had a subtle bite with tubes. It's just like they gobble this up with so much enthusiasm when they're, just, when they're on tubes. It's just crazy. I'm hoping today we can find the numbers, that's for sure. But I'd like to see some size. I haven't seen too many big fish in this area this year yet. All right, guys, next up, we're gonna throw the drop shot. Now, I really like these trick shots from Z-Man. They just last forever. Uh, but of course, the Berkeley flatworms are super popular if you can get your hands on them. Uh, you know, and a bunch of other baits. I mean, there's just so many drop shot baits out there, but I really like, I really like these in the color The Deal. So before I move on, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the drop shot a little bit. Different color bait, different profile, different speed. And we'll see what the fish think about that. Well, we've got fish jumping all over here. So there's definitely fish still in here. Again, same thing, nice long cast. And the important thing here, you make sure you have bottom contact, make sure you have no slack and keep the rod tip high. And that will generally keep you out of the rocks from getting stuck. And then as, as it's coming towards me, as the current is moving it towards the boat, I'm just popping it off the bottom. And this is the same thing. You're gonna feel a tick, like somebody tapping your rod with the tip of a pencil. And this, you're not gonna set the hook, like you're trying to set a swim bait or something like that. You're just going to reel down and then bring your rod tip up and reel. So there's no hook set. These are small little Gamma Katsu drop shot hooks in a size 1.0. So there's no need to reef on it. Just the weight will give you that hook penetration that you need. Drop shot's a game changer, my friends. If you're not using a drop shot for smallmouth, you are missing out because they will gobble this up like crazy. Got fish jumping all around. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Oh, I was on. I was on. Oh, guys, I'm just missing these fish like a crazy person. So if you find you're getting a lot of bites, but you're missing fish, give them longer time to bite, to actually eat the bait. And it's tough, right? Because it's like a natural instinct for you to just jerk that line out <laughs> as soon as you feel the tap. But I just got to force yourself to hold it an extra second or two. He even took my bait. For me, the drop shot is definitely my confidence bait. Everyone's kind of got that bait that they feel like they could catch anything and everything on. And for me, it's the drop shot. I just, it's such a versatile bait, it catches everything and anything. And it's good in all depths. There we go, guys. There we go. There we go. 
right at the boat. That's a nice fish. Good old drop shot. So you can see it's just another great bait. It catches them. This guy's got some nice markings on him. There he is. There you go, guys. There we go. Another nice one. Certainly not tanks, but enough to get the party started. And what's nice with these Elastex is they generally will last and last and last. We've got some duck hunting going on. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the shotgun blasts <laughs> on the mic, but we definitely got some duck hunting happening. So duck hunting goose season is open right now. Oh, there's a fish. It's open right now until end of November, I think. Nice. Oh, he's foul hooked. That's why he's fighting so hard. He's foul hooked. All right, let's see if we can snag him. <sighs> Caught you right underneath the mouth, huh? You were kind of going for it. From a strange angle. Nice fish though. Oh, broke me off. Oh, broke me off as I went for him. <laughs> All right, dang it. <laughs> and another bait that I really love, of course, is the Ned Rig. So here we've got a Ned Rig, and this is also really effective in this kind of water. And I've got the peanut butter and jelly. No, this isn't PB and J, I forget which one. This is the watermelon. Can't remember, I need to check. Uh, dirty rice, I think. So this is a rattling Ned from Guggen Baits. So let's give that a shot. Try that out, see how that goes. So also super effective. What I, what's cool about this one is that it gets to the bottom extremely fast uh, just because of that slim profile. It just gets to the bottom so quick. So you're in the strike zone like almost immediately. And it definitely catches the smallies. See if we can get us one. Once you get past the boat, remember, the current is lifting your bait up off the bottom. So when you're off the bottom, what happens? Nothing. So reel it in, recast. So as soon as you're past your boat, bring that line back in because you're no longer hitting bottom. And when you work these points, you know, you can fan cast them. I'm, you'll notice I'm not casting the same place every time. I'm trying all around the boat. Then eventually you'll notice that they tend to keep coming from a particular area. And then you can key in on that. Oh, guys, that was a fish. That was a fish. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Son of a gun. See if we can get him back. There he is. Got him. Got him that time. Good fish. Good fish. That's a good one. All right, we're not going to screw around with this guy. You done tired yourself out now? Oh, jeez. All right, let's try that again. There we go. He's got like a thing growth on his tail. Ow. There we go. Not giants. They're all kind of carbon copies of each other. So there you go, guys. That's Ned Rig for you. Catches everything. So now let me show you something that maybe not everybody thinks of, okay? We've got shallower water behind us going up to the point. So what we can do is throw something out there and check that shallow water. So what I like to do for that is throw a fluke. Here I've got a Zoom Super Fluke. It's pretty beat up. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some use out of them. And these are what the flukes look like. You can see the head on it is all torn apart. Well, this doesn't always work, but there's fish back there. It'll get them. So now this is also a cool technique because all you have to do is throw it to the side. So we've actually got fish right behind the boat right now. So for this technique here, all I have to do is throw it to perpendicular to the boat, okay? And then the current is just gonna carry it into the shallows. So current is coming that way, it's flowing this way. So I'm gonna throw it here and the current is just gonna carry it over that way. You can also do this with regular hard jerk baits. I'll just give it a couple little twitches here and there. And if there's anything shallow, I'm just gonna gobble this up. Oh, there's just some there's fish right underneath the boat right now. Okay. Not a big one, but an energetic one. Come here, buddy. He's 
little dude. We'll get bigger than him. There's one. There we go, another one, guys. Oh man, this is just, it's such an incredible fishery here. I mean, they're not big, but it's just so much fun. <laughs> Come here, buddy. There he is. There you go, the Ned Rig again. There's another one. There's another one, guys. It's just one after another. It's crazy. Another little guy. Where's your big buddies? Where's your mamas? Oh. Man, this uh, the Ned Rig is just destroying it right now. So Ned Rig is definitely what they're biting the more, most aggressively. There he is. So I'm retying my drop shots. These are the drop shot hooks that I'm using right here, as you can see. So Gamakatsu split shot slash drop shot 1-0. All right, let's get it on here. Okay, so we're retied. I'm gonna try uh, trick shots again, but this time I'm going to use white lightning. That means you should catch the fish super fast. <laughs> Ooh. There you go guys, another fish on the drop shot. This is actually, well, eh, they're kind of all the same. <laughs> Ooh, this might be a good one. It's hard to tell, because they get in the current, and they fight, they're just so nasty. This might be a good one. No, oh, he's, he's a little guy. <laughs> that might be, he was a little bit bigger than the last ones, but. You're hooked a little funny. That's what's up. Just a little dude. See ya. Oh, <laughs> that was a good one. That was cool. I, like, it's so hard to tell sometimes. I mean, I feel like I lifted up on him and he just didn't move. But I know it's not a big one. No, he's another small guy. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Oh, uh, and these, all these fish for myself. <laughs> You're stuck. You're not going anywhere. There you go, buddy. There you go. Wow. And, the, and this is the thing, guys. Like, <laughs> we're only just getting started on this point. I haven't started moving up. I haven't started moving right or left. I've just sort of parked myself in the center, and I moved up once, like 10 feet, 20 feet. So we still have a lot of checking to do. Who knows? Maybe all the maybe all the biggins are further out and onto the point. We'll see. But right now, it's just a fish catching buffet. No, oh, I had a fish on. I was clean. I was cleaning my glasses, and I had a fish on. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I don't even know how many fish this is. It's got to be at least 15 fish by now, if not 20. A lot of eyes on this boat right now. <laughs> yeah, a little. This is probably the smallest one of the day, actually. Yeah, he's a little guy. He's like, what are you doing, man? What you doing? You're another little dude. Where's all your big ones? 856. Oh, there are so many fish down here. This guy came up with three buddies. That was crazy. There you go, guys. It's full of them down there like that. Oh my, okay, that was wild. Oh, that's a good one. There's a good one. There's a good one, guys. There's a good one. There we go, guys. We got a better fish. Still not a giant, but way better than the Dinkasauruses we've been catching so far. Better fish. Yeah, definitely a better fish. He's gonna be a cull. All right, guys, we pretty much vacuumed the area pretty good. So you saw drop shot, you saw Ned Rig, and you saw the tube all being worked in the same you know, the same way. So using the current, throwing up current and letting the current bring the bait to us. And all I did was make sure I had bottom contact and pop the bait off the bottom a little every once in a while. Keep the rod tip high, that way you uh, you don't get snagged as much. 
and then just feel the tap fish photos so we got a few fish in the live well so we've got our five obviously i think we've caught probably 20 20 fish or so so we're going to move on to some other areas it's quieted right down in here so we've got some other spots we're going to go check out and see if we can't get some upgrades all right so let's uh let's do it and uh yeah i'm liking the tube action today actually the actually the two biggest fish we have are on tube so that's a good sign so uh yeah let's move on See ya. They go in behind the gills there for that guy. First cast, good sign. Oh, I was on again. There you go. <laughs> Think they're in here? Oh, they're in here, guys. They're in here. They're in here for sure. Let's get after it. a good one that's a beauty uh -huh. I think that might be a cull that's a nice one so I'm just working the tube here same tech oh there ooh, 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 ooh. there he is little guy little guy there we go oh yeah okay so we moved up a little bit they're a little deeper Another good one. Here you go, guys. Another one. So the tube over here is doing great. You know, it's a little bit more shallow. It's about 10 feet here. So the tube gets down on the bottom relatively quick and it just bounces off all these rocks and they just think it's a crayfish. And boom! Crayfish and gobies, that's mostly what they eat. And that is, of course, what the tube emulates. When it starts hitting those rocks, boy, I'm like all tensed up, ready to go. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Just a little guy. Doesn't even know he's been caught yet. He's like, I don't know what's going on. Whoa, all over my lunch bag. <laughs> all right, so this last spot, this last spot was pretty decent to us. So now we're gonna move on see what else we can cook up we're gonna go and check out some other areas that haven't been producing yet and that hopefully have started but we'll never know until we try spot number three of the day so this is a large flat that's anywhere between six to eight feet with uh, some rock with some boulders and uh, sometimes they're in here bingo there's one there's one there's one Whoa, okay bingo bingo and are they oh oh he's he's putting the hammer down here oh he's good size good size guys okay guys we got us a good fish good fish on good fish i gotta get him out of this current oh yeah oh this is a big one he's a good fish that's a better fish for sure. My net is not pinned. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. Better fish. Better fish for real. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Look at that. Look at this guy. Uh-huh. There you go. Look at the belly. He's got a big old belly. Boop, boop, boop. That's a nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> weird bite that was. <laughs> okay. What the hell is that? Like a little musky or something. I literally just. I think I was actually a, like a little musky. That's hilarious. 
Oh. There you go, guys. Still no tanks. Trying to find. Well, we got one decent, kind of like a mini tank. We're getting there. Ooh, this is a good one. He's long. Whoa, this is a long one. Some fish are longer than others. <laughs> I got like a cramp in my neck when I set the hook. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, that's a good fish. There we go. Good fish. Oh, okay, he wants to just come right in the boat directly. He's bigger than two pounds, three ounces. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> He's bigger than two pounds, three ounces. That's a mama. That a mama. There we go. Yeah. Look at that one. There you go. You got to be bigger than two pounds, three ounces for sure. Two pounds, 11 ounces. You are definitely an upgrade, buddy. There he is. Another one. It's just, I mean, I don't know how many fish we're at today. We got to be at around 40. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, there, I got him that time. Got him that time. Another one. That will not call. Look at that giant one. There you go, guys. It's these all day. Crazy. See ya. So they're just hanging out on this flat and they're just feeding. And I mean, obviously, the tube is. Just wrecking it. This tube is just about ready to be changed, too. Jeez, guys. I mean, this is just... Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one who's barely hooked. Guys, this is like fishing insanity right now. So when I talk about 50 fish days, and people are like, yeah, right. Well, you're seeing one. This is going to be a more than 50 for sure. He really wanted this one. That was cool. Oh, sorry, buddy. Popped him off. Popped him off and he came back forward at round two. You really want it. Man, I'm gonna have bass thumbs so bad today. So this is one of those days, remember I mentioned how some days the tube is just obliterating everything? Oh, uh, this is one of them. This is one of those days. Because the tube is indeed obliterating everything. The sun's coming out, there's no one. There he is again. There's another one. I mean, this is just nuts. They're all in front. All right, guys, the tube is officially dead. Time for a retie. So again, guys, it's these. I'm using coffee tubes from Strike King right now uh, in the crazy craw color. And the crazy craw is getting crazy bites. GoPro ran out of battery, but I don't want to stop because there's too many dang fish. The sun's coming out, so the fish are just starting to key in on these baits. I mean, I can't even... They're attacking it as soon as it lands right now. There's another one. I mean, this is just nuts. All right, guys, I'm retying again just because things are getting used up. And now I'm going to use the revealer tube, okay? So this is the Lunker Hunt revealer tube. And I really like them because they have the, sort of these different colored tails on them. The contrasting tails, see that? I love that. Let's give her a shot and see if the fish like that one too. Got a funny feeling I could throw an anvil in here and they'd go after it. Ah, oh, he game. They're still there. Holy jeez. That fish is so far out there. <laughs> Man, I just cast this a mile away. Fish grabbed it while it landed and I was getting myself a piece of sandwich. Little dude. There's another one. Ooh, fasty. Oh, ow, jeez. Oh, God, my thumb is getting, like, mauled. Oh, I'm going to have, like, no thumb left by the time this is done. Okay, there you go. I bet you this is two pounds, three ounces. <laughs> now, the other advantage we have here is because of the current and the calm water, Okay, I'm just stuck on the bottom. <laughs> we can actually see where rocks and weeds are just by reading the surface of the water.
Guys, I just popped this out of the rocks and I'm on a fish. So when this popped out, the fish grabbed it. That is hilarious. So you can actually see the ripples on the water. And what that is, is the current is passing over rocks and it's causing a disturbance on the top of the water. So if I cast past those disturbances, I know that I'm gonna be brought right through some rocks, which is of course where the bass are hiding. So kind of an advantage uh, out here in the super calm water is I can really, really read the water. So do the same thing when you're out there. Look for the disturbances on top of the water in the current, and chances are those are rocks or little clumps of weeds or something like that that's causing it. Cast past it, bring your bait through it, and hey, you'll hook up. There we go, got him. Got that one. And you're escaping that. Another one, guys. So that last fish, I actually cast into where I could see some water kind of stirring. And I felt the rocks as I bumped into them. And then that guy just latched on. There's the rocks right there. And, oh, I just got smashed. All right. <laughs> I just ripped this guy apart. I don't come off. I think it's gonna be the last one for this spot. We're gonna move up a little bit more again. Holy jeez, buddy. You're supposed to smash yourself. I feel like a pro lying down. <laughs> there we go. Okay, my friends, time for a move. So, tubes and Ned rigs are killing it today. I mean, I haven't even put on a saucy swimmer on the drop shot which is pretty unusual all right guys so uh it's about two in the afternoon we're gonna make another move now uh the sun never really came out it's overcast with some sun coming through and the stars of the show have been the tubes so we got the lunker hunt tubes so these are the revealer tubes that have been great uh the rattling neds in the dirty rice color from guggen baits and I really like the uh, Strike King coffee tubes. I've been also doing super well. And this is the candy flavor. What's it called? Crazy Craw. So it's been uh, a Ned and tube kind of day. And, you know, those are some of my favorite baits. You know, I always throw the drop shot, but I always hope these work because they're just a lot of fun. So drop shot, Ned rig, tubes, hard to go wrong in the north for, uh, for some hollies with that combo. So we're going to go check out some other places. And then we're going to go hit up some other shallow areas where we're going to start using some flukes. And I'd like to use a weighted uh, wacky rig and see how that does. So uh, yeah, let's move. The screen is just like full. I don't know what's going on. None of it's biting though. Garbage fish. All right, guys, this is it. Show you a couple more baits that I like. So this is a weighted wacky rig hook. Uh, I believe it's one eighth of an ounce and it's got a beautiful, beautiful action to it. And fish just love it. So we're throwing in like six feet of water. Wait till you see this sucker go. So again, just casting it out, up current, and I'm gonna let the current do the work. I'm just gonna pop it up every once in a while. Nothing complicated about it. Oh. Guys, I just broke off on a fish. I don't know what had me, but it broke me off. Wow, really? That broke off way too easy. And that's a fresh tie, so I know that's not a frayed line. There's a the fish. That's a fish. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. There we go. Got him that time. Wow, he is dark. I mean, just crazy dark. That is so cool. There he is. There we go. Oh, beautiful fish. Doesn't have my wacky rig though. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> oh, he's got a friend. He's got a bigger friend. I wonder if I can get him off another rod. There you go, little guy. Oh, geez, that did not move. That might be a bigger fish. Oh, I was like, this guy didn't move when I set the hook. I got super excited for a minute there, but now he's just, he's just hooked funny. 
There you go. Another one. Yep. This is why fishing on the St. Lawrence is so unbelievable. Especially in the fall. It's just... Just so much fun. I'm thinking they like the Ned Rig too. <laughs> There's the Ned Rig. Where to fish. Another dark one. They're so dark over here. Oh, I know you're trying to breach, but I wouldn't let you. Oh man, my thumb is like finito. Nice, dark, beautiful, dark green fish. Beautiful, look at that. Very nice. All right, buddy. Whew, I can't grab too many more fish here. My thumb's like bleeding. Man, I'm gonna order me some new Ned Rigs. Carl, Carl's Bait Shop is gonna be getting an order for me pretty soon. Thought I was on there. Oh yeah, that was on. I knew I felt the fish. Wow, he's far. It is actually officially 4 p.m. right now. Just about time to wrap it up. We'll do a couple more casts. Oh, jeez. There we go. Wow. Holy buckets. Okay, oh, yeah. there we go. Woo. There he is. <laughs> wow, this day is insane. I think I've counted about probably about 75 fish today. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Unbelievable day. Wow. Well, oh, this Ned Rig is also toast. All right, a couple more casts, and that'll be it. We gotta wrap it up. All right, guys, that is it for today. So as you guys saw today, you know, the key baits were really Z-Man power trick shots uh, for the drop shot. Those did super well, but tubes, guys, tubes, the coffee tubes from Strike King. I told you I would find you. As well as the Lunker Hunt tubes, man, they just killed it today. And of course, the Guggen Bait, Ned Rigs, the Rattle Neds, those were also super key. So just an amazing, amazing day, guys. I think we caught about 75, 80 fish today. I mean, this is just absolute insanity well worth the price of admission so that's it for today guys so i hope you learned something you got to see exactly what i was fishing what i was fishing it on and how i fished it uh, and you could see how i just learned to utilize the current and you know if you've seen some of my older videos when i first started fishing the saint lawrence you know i was totally lost because i wasn't used to current and now actually current is almost all i know now <laughs> so uh key is using the current to your advantage letting the current move your baits for you instead of fighting the baits with like heavy weights and other craziness it's just not necessary not necessary at all. all right guys so i hope you found this helpful thanks for joining me on this solo trip today and i will see you guys on another episode all right take it easy have a good one i got bass thumb peace <laughs>